Okay, we had a lot of people questioning the testing of this Evans coolant that we did last time. You know, I thought that this gauge wasn't working, but actually when it gets over 100 degrees, it just goes down to double digits. It's an older gauge, so that should be accurate. It's plumbed right into the system. We basically just threw the old head gasket in and slammed everything back together. So hopefully all that holds. Well, we're gonna try to run it up even a little higher this time with this Evans coolant. We've gone through and blew air through everything again to get it all nice and clean. There's no cooler on this at all. The, basically the coolant goes right into the motor and right back out of it. So it's just a, basically a continuous loop. We're gonna have to wear earplugs for this. I think we'll run it up to 300 today. Still got my little temperature gun. I'm not gonna put it down near the exhaust uh, manifolds because everybody got upset with that. Maybe threw the numbers off. So we'll do it on the we'll do it on the head cover. Maybe on the back side here, and we'll try to take our temps off this. Old Digitron, hopefully it's working. Old XLT. not working so we're just gonna have to go off this gun so it's gonna get hot
that tube go? No, yep, the tube melted. Melted. Okay, so at 293 degrees, 98, oh, it's going up real fast, 300 degrees, anywhere on here pretty much. What happened was this little vent hose that comes off the side by the muffler, it couldn't handle the power or the heat. <laughs> So, I mean, we can either put a new hose on. What do we have that we could block that with? No fuel line hose? Yeah, that's, that, one, that was the one that didn't last long. It just melted. It'd be nice to run that, keep running her up. I mean, we're doing it right now, right? Hey? Okay, we replaced this hose because it just, the coolant going through there is 300 degrees and the hose, the bypass hose, like this stuff, isn't really rated for that kind of heat. So that's the issue we're running into. Can you show it again, the, the wet hose? It's right here. The, the kind of hose, yeah. This kind of hose? Is what happened, it just... Just turned to, just turned to goo. So that's the problem. Running by the, these uh, pipes. But we don't want this to end here. We were just coming, we were just coming up by 300 degrees. Here we go. Gotta put more coolant in. Imagine that motor right now with all that coolant pumping out of there, blowing out at 300 degrees like that. What does the coolant mix normally boil at? 220. again. Melted. <laughs> right when you turned it off. Right when I turned it off. Well, as you can see, what are we here? What are we, what are we about 330 degrees? The only thing that keeps going on it is that little bypass on that fuel line or on that. Uh, can you just we could, that'd be the only way to do it. It just keeps rupturing. But I mean, honestly, like, what more do you need? The temperature on the valve cover or the head cover, but really no pressure in there. I mean, those lines would have blew off way earlier than that. Like, on, like what more proof do you need? 
Like, have you have you ridden a sled that's overheated? Yep. And like, how far do you get? <laughs> you don't get very far. You don't get that far, man. Like, how long have we been out here running that motor? Well, the, yeah. Fifteen minutes. Maybe twenty. Yeah. Provided you get twenty minutes down the trail on an overheating motor, it's pretty good. <laughs> Coolant's gonna start skewing out, and then you'd be ending up with no coolant. And yeah, I mean that's the weak link right there. Is your pressure. hose? It's the pressure. Yeah. Well, it's not the pressure. No, yeah, but it's. But for somebody running 50-50 coolant, yeah, that yeah, I mean. On a coolant system, you would have blown, you know, you all would, your coolant would have pissed out a long time ago. Yeah. That's when you do your engine error. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's, there's just there's nothing. That uh, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> just bought <laughs> pouring out the bottom. <laughs> it just hit me there, right? The very end. As soon as I killed it. You know what? I think the old XLT will live to run another day. Hey, what do you think? I think she's gonna be still good. We'll have to check the, maybe we'll check the compression real quick. God, that is hot coming out of there, man. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, I got that. It's just like. Can you get the temperature reading on that water? That's about one. 62 just coming out there. What's the head on? That's a, still at 299, 290. Look at the look at the temp on that. That's gonna take a while to cool down. It's still at 300 degrees. So got some eggs. Be warm. I've never run a machine that hot like that. <laughs> but there'll be some non-believers, right? <laughs> Somebody's not gonna believe. Ah, yeah. You didn't do the, you should have put an inline hose temperature gauge on because the temperature on there just isn't accurate. No. I don't know. You run a motor 15 minutes with no cooler in it. It's pretty awesome. So what did it get up to 330? <laughs> now their product boils at 360. It's when you start to really lose the, uh, the, you know, the protective abilities of it. I guess you know, it starts to boil off the cylinder walls inside the jacket, and then that's when you run into your seizing issue, man. I'm telling you, I don't. I almost want to put the 50/50 in here and run it and just see how high it goes, but it's still good. It's still good. That motor. But uh, holy smokes, that's better than before. Man. How's that possible? <laughs> How did we just go up in compression? <laughs> we fixed the motor. Unbelievable. All that needed to, to happen was to run it up to 320, 330. That does it for you. What's that one? How's that one looking? Same. Dude, good old XLTs. No shit. I don't think we need to take the motor apart. No way. Wow. <laughs> but right now she's well cleaned. I don't think there's any carbon left in that motor. Anywhere in there. I mean, I don't know what else to do. How else do we? How else do we prove our point at this point? I don't know. For me, the testing is done. Okay, let's pack her up, fellas. Um. Yes. Where did I put that?